business process diagram is a very good tool to overview the workflow of your company or your department. It can show who performed what and the flow of the work, including decisions and events. But if you drill down into certain level of details, business process diagram doesn't provide enough information about how to perform the task. You just know the name of the task, the basic meaning, but the detailed procedure doesn't show in the business process. In VP, you're not just allowed to define the task, but you can also define the procedure of the task. The procedure means what you need to do in order to complete the task. After you define all the detailed procedures of the task, you can produce a complete document of the working procedure. Your team member will have a complete understanding of how to do the work in order to deliver high quality services or goods. Let's see how to define the working procedures in a business process diagram. Here I have a support request handling business process. Let me just do a basic walkthrough about the process. At the beginning, we will receive a support request from the end user. And our support team member will study the user request. If we can understand the request, that means have enough information, then we will go to another decision to check it is an inquiry or bug report. Let's take the bug report path. If this is a bug, we will try to create an issue and then assign to the engineer to fix the issue. After the engineer fixed the issue, we will test the bug report, the bugs. If this is fixed, we will send the patch to the end user and close the ticket. If not success, we will assign back to the engineer to fix the issue. Now I have the overview of the process. Let's see how to define the detailed procedures. I can right click on the white space of the business process diagram and click the show procedure editor. Then you will see the procedure editor is now showing in the bottom part of your screen. You can see the procedure of the selected task. Let's try to define the procedure for bug fix the fix issue task. First of all, the engineer will check out the source code from the project and he will perform the bug fix and comment the bug fix code and test in development environment and commit the change to the server. That means after he commit the change to the server, his task is completed. Then he can mark complete and then pass to the next one. The support team member will do the test bug fix for him. In the test bug fix task, the procedure is to log into the deployment server, select the version and then launch the deployment update and test the bug fix. This is the procedure to do the testing. And sometimes the procedure could be need to deal with different situations. In this case, we test the bug fix that could be a client bug fix or a server side bug fix. So we can develop multiple procedures for deal with different situations. Let's rename the procedure to test client side bug fix. This procedure is for client side. And then we can create another procedure to test the server side bug fix. And then we can fill in the the de detailed procedures of testing the server side. It has a little bit difference from the test client size. So you write down the procedures in the test server side. And you can easily switch between different procedures by using the combo box in the procedure plane. And now let me just show you how to generate a complete working procedures. We create the uh, report diagram in the diagrams button and then we will show the diagram navigator 
and the pro- property pane to define our business process report. So let's create the heading first. This is a technical support procedure and we can just create custom tag and then we can input the text and set the format. Now we just need to select the support request handling business process diagram on the diagram navigator and then select the business process flow um, in the property pane and drag and drop to the report. Now you see the diagram is showing on top of the report and then the detail of each task is showing below and you can see the procedure is just so just below the task so you just can walk through the document you can get the understanding of all the tasks and the detailed procedure and the final step is to export this report to the format you like let me just show you how to export to PDF report then we just export to PDF and let's change the cover page to not generate the default one and just export now you see your uh, working procedure is now in PDF format you can send to entity members or you can print it out for internal references and the good thing is if you want to change the procedure or the process you just need to go back to the diagram make the change and regenerate the working procedure thank you very much for watching this video